Hey guys, what's going on? This is Sam and in today's video, you read the title of this video right, we are taking a hands-on look at Apple's newest beta software, iOS 8. This will be coming likely in the fall of 2014, but today I have a special early preview for all of you guys out there. I want to jump into some great new features that iOS 8 has to offer. But before we jump right on into that, I'd just like to mention very quickly that if you are interested in seeing more iOS 8 content from myself, such as future beta releases, I will be covering everything iOS 8, including features extensively in the coming days, weeks, and months. So definitely subscribe in case you haven't already. I would have to say arguably that the most requested feature from users on iOS 7 because it was recently added in OS 10 Mavericks was the ability to quick reply on iOS 8. And yes, folks, now you can reply to text messages without interrupting your workflow whatsoever. So I'm going to send myself a text message right now. I simply tap the notification like I'm used to, and there we go. I can reply directly once again without interrupting my workflow or even leaving the app I was in before. The next feature we're taking a look at in this video is what Apple calls quick type, and this is predictive keyboard typing in iOS for the first time ever. With this new enhanced keyboard, you can simply tap one of the three gray boxes that rest very nicely in my opinion above the normal standard iOS 7 keyboard, and you can type so, so fast. I'm just going to simple just type whatever I feel like typing when I film this video, but you can see just tapping words just feels so natural. Although it is a little weird to get used to at the beginning, I've been an iOS only user since the day I got my first iPod Touch second generation, so it does feel a bit different to tap words instead of type them entirely. So that part does require just a little learning curve of realizing it's so much easier to tap the boxes above. But really overall, QuickType is a well needed adjustment to the iOS operating system and it really does enhance your typing experience. Next up guys, we are taking a look at the much improved and needed improvements made to the spotlight search section in iOS 8. From here, we can say now search for apps without even touching the app store icon. For example, I'll pull up Angry Birds real quick and there we go, we get a developer by Rovio, app icon name, and even version and its rating in the app store. Unfortunately, we don't get price, but since this is always just iOS 8 beta 1, that could be a change made in the very near future, such as an iOS 8 beta 2. But another great feature in Spotlight Search is you also get suggested websites. For example, right below the Angry Birds suggestion for the app store, you get the official angrybirds.com. With Apple adding all these great new features to the Spotlight Search, I do have to arguably say that Spotlight Search is useful again. And the last feature we are taking a look at in this video is, I would have to say, the one with the most possibilities. It is the brand spanking new health app that you'll find on the iOS 8 home screen. And I have to say this is probably one of the most exciting features because we haven't seen a new app on our devices since Passbook when it was introduced with iOS 6. But taking a look at more detail in this app, we have the source section where this can be completely integrated with other third-party apps on the App Store. Medical ID, we can create a medical ID for ourselves with personal medical information. We also have tons and tons of different information from all to diagnostics, fitness, lab results, medication, nutrition, sleep, vital signs, and even a me section. And then there's the dashboard, which is a collaboration of all these different things that we want added in one unified view. And I'm not going to go into details on this too much just yet, but I will definitely make a standalone video talking about everything that has to do with the new health app. So that'll be a wrap on this video. If you enjoyed watching it, as always, feel free to click that like button down below. And to see more content from myself relating to more on iOS 8, definitely make sure you subscribe in case you haven't already. I'd just like to say thank you one more time for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see all of you in my next video.